Welcome to anyone that's watching this short video and what it shows is the uh, Digital Combat Simulator uh, A10C Warthog and two prototype panels which I'm working on in advance of a Simpit that I plan to build next year. The first that we're looking at now is the countermeasure system and also the electrical control panel both of which uh, input into the simulator via a keyboard encoder and the countermeasure system also uses a program called DCS BIOS which if the developers were to see this video a big shout out for the work they've done because it's fantastic and what that has enabled me to do is effectively output data uh, which really enhances uh, the panel as well you've got uh, a 16 by 2 LCD display there which as you can see is outputting exactly what is shown within the simulator itself some years ago I did build my first ever sim pit which was with use with Falcon 4 Allied Force and the key focus was on could I simply get the panels to talk to the system which the keyboard encoder did help me achieve that but it was very functional and what I'm really looking for with the new sim pit is going to be a much more enhanced um, aesthetic uh, so control panels which are CNC engraved and cut with uh, a proper backlight. The keyboard encoder I use is uh, Hag from Hagstrom Electronics. It's a KE108 and I use that with their IOX36 breakout boards. And the software I've used to uh, draw the control panels was via a company called Vectric and it's called Cut2D and that has allowed me to uh, sketch the image of what I then will have engrave onto and cut and that then is a great piece of software that allowed you to generate the tool paths into G-code for the CNC to cut. I'm fortunate enough that my father-in-law uh, had his own CNC machine which he built himself so when I've produced the uh, Vectric file I'm able to take that to him and we can uh, convert it into G-code and then we can cut that on his mill. Now what we're looking at here with the panels you can see the acrylic that has been used for the fascia. I did try various ones and settle with a 3mm opal acrylic um, with a good light uh, transmission which is spray painted. As you can see I've built a simple housing uh, to hold and protect the breakout boards and the wiring for the keyboard encoder and you can see the data stream being output there. Thanks for watching.